Your military air force is attacking us daily in Iraq. This man, who sprung to notoriety as Jihadi John in execution videos released by Islamic State, has now been identified as Mohammed Enwazi of the UK. He first appeared last August in a video in which he presided over the beheading of American journalist James Foley. We are an Islamic army. And has since appeared in other execution videos, including those with American freelance journalist Stephen Sothloff, British aid worker David Haynes, British taxi driver Alan Henning, and American aid worker Peter Kasig. So let the nightmare for Japan begin. And most recently, Japanese journalist Kenji Goto. How long has his identity been known? Mr. Emwazi appears to have been on the radar of British officials since at least 2009, when they believed he was trying to travel to Somalia to get training from Islamic extremists there. British security officials said over the summer they were confident they'd identified Jihadi John, but didn't disclose his name. In September, the head of the FBI said U.S. authorities also believed they'd identified him, but his name hadn't been leaked until now. What's known about Mr. Emwazi? Now in his mid to late 20s, he was born in Kuwait, but grew up in London. This is where it's believed he once lived. He attended public high school in the British capital, where he was among students from all backgrounds. Afterward, he attended the University of Westminster in central London. The university says Mr. Emwazi left six years ago and offered this statement. If these allegations are true, we are shocked and sickened by the news. Our thoughts are with the victims and their families. With the media now descending on his childhood home, the details of his life are continuing to emerge. That's the short answer.